Appreciate you guys tuning in, checking this out. Run the intro. Well, there's that idea. I was gonna screw in so my mic could stand right here when I switch the cameras. What do we have here? I uh, I got a gimbal. I got a balance the gimbal. I had it balanced, ready to go, right? And then I put the um, what they call it, the uh, filter on there. So now let's see if it's balanced. Oh. So it's balanced that way. I'm a big fan of 24 frames a second. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna shoot some in uh, 60 frames a second. Cause some people like 60 frames a second. So I'm gonna try 60 frames a second. We're gonna get it home in the editing bay. And check it out, see what it do. Let's see, we, we gonna run the 650D on autofocus on the gimbal. What we're going to do is we're going to fly the 650D on the RS2 and see how the autofocus does since we're in a very bright environment. And if that don't turn out good, we are going to switch cameras. Right now we're recording with the EOS R and we are in 4, 4K, 24 frames a second, and we're shooting c -Log. So I'm in my new backyard, my new fun office. So now we've done a swap ruski. We are no longer on the EOS R and C log. We are shooting on the 650D. So you probably will notice a difference at certain parts of the video. But with that being said, I think I am going to identify the cameras when they come. With that being said, I think I'm gonna identify the cameras when they come up. But I just wanted to catch a quick video of me balancing the gimbal. So we got that part balanced. Now we're gonna come here. And the thing I like about the RS2 is the ease of the forward balance. And it's a bit windy. Now you really want to do this on a flat surface, but I'm doing it on the back of the vehicle. So I guess I'm pushing my look. So we got that balance. We're gonna lock off that axis. And we're gonna make sure this axis is locked or unlocked. See how that's off balance? So now that in place we we'll lock this axis and now we're gonna check the tilt axis that see you know I don't I, I don't know this isn't the tilt I forget the name of this axis I'll put it in the video but with me switching between the two cameras this axis normally stays pretty balanced between the two cameras if you read if you put them in relatively the same position 